The surgical department at Harare Central Hospital is quieter than usual. There is a critical shortage of pain medication like pethidine and injectable morphine. All elective surgeries have been stopped temporarily. Medical staff say until the situation improves, they will only perform procedures that are life-threatening and maternity cases. Zimbabwe's finance minister says nearly 97% of the government's budget pays salaries. That means only about 3% goes to essential services like health. The economic situation is not very good at the moment, starting from what we're getting from Treasury and um, the user fees retention that we rely on is also dwindling. You must realize we cater for that part of the population who really can pay for, for, for their own medication, for their own medical services. So you find that uh, the fund is dwindling, but we try to stretch it and go as far as possible. Zimbabwe has been in an economic crisis for nearly two decades. The public health sector is struggling. International donors and governments, including China, donate medication and equipment, but it's still not enough. The middle class and the wealthy use the more expensive private hospitals. President Robert Mugabe and his family go abroad for their medical treatment. The poor, who are the majority, say they have no choice but to use public health facilities. I think so far the, the service, to be frank, is poor because I was assaulted like last week and I, they removed me to the in the process but I haven't been given any medication. I just, I, 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 have, to, I have to do the x-ray from a private hospital. This is one of the largest and busiest health facilities in Zimbabwe. This is the oldest referral hospital in the country. There are more than a thousand beds. Doctor says many as 600 people visit the casualty ward every day. Morale is low. Like many civil servants, doctors and nurses often aren't paid on time. Many basic drugs can no longer be found in public hospitals and pharmacies. Some political analysts say if the economy doesn't improve quickly, things could get even worse in public health facilities across the country. But hospital officials at Harare Central insist this latest crisis is temporary and that the surgical wards won't stay this quiet for much longer. Harumatasa Al Jazeera, Harare.